Hi, Fitz. Who's your one true love? It's Justin Jefferson, receiver for the Vikings. Mm. I think Justin Jefferson could be the first receiver to have 2,000 yards in a season. I mean, he's already has the most receiving yards through two seasons in NFL history. I mean, he said it himself on the Ringer NFL show this year. Like, if Justin Jefferson has had the most receiving yards through two seasons in NFL history on a run first team, what happens when he's on a pass first team and he's playing the Cooper Cup role? I like it. I mean, you know, you guys know how I feel about the Vikings. I, I have no problem if you want to take Justin Jefferson as the first pick in your draft, just straight up. <laughs> I so, like that too. I wrote this down and then deleted it. So if we're doing a round by round draft, if you're a booger eater or you're under 14 years old <laughs> and God. Jonathan Taylor will go first. <laughs> and then most people in the booger eater draft, it's McCaffrey second. And then it's Jefferson or Chase. Or Cup. One of those two and Cup. Like ba- I'm with I'm with Craig. I I think Jefferson's second on my board. Where do you have him, Danny Kelly? Uh, I have him at four. I've got McCaffrey, Taylor, Cup, Jefferson. What do you have, Vifus? So the Ringer Fantasy Football Rankings, we have Justin Jefferson third overall. So we've got Christian McCaffrey first, which I guess you think we're double booger eaters for ranking him by round, and then also have McCaffrey just first. Honestly, but embarrassing. McCaffrey, Taylor, but I, I we have Jefferson over Cup, and I think we have that unanimously because it's just. Honestly, he's going to play a Cooper Cup role, but honestly, Justin Jefferson's better than Cooper Cup. It's 1A, 1B. There's no problem if you want Cooper Cup. I just got in my head. I think Justin Jefferson's the number one receiver this year. We also have Cup coming off one of the greatest receiver years of all time, which usually is not going to happen two years in a row. Craig, who do you have? My one true love is Michael yeah. Pittman, the receiver on the Colts. Wow. <laughs> He's just he's just boring. There's nothing interesting about the Colts. Matt Ryan's boring. Even Jonathan Taylor's like kind of a boring first round pick. But no one is really considering what losing Carson Wentz is going to do for the receivers on the Colts, which there aren't many. There's Michael Pittman, and then there's Paris Campbell, Kiki Kuti, a rookie Alec Pierce. Their tight end is Mo Alley Cox. You know, Carson Wentz is like one of the least accurate quarterbacks in the league. Matt Ryan, one of the most accurate quarterbacks in the league. And they didn't throw the ball last year because they literally couldn't because Carson Wentz was so terrible at the end of the season. That's why they were running the ball so much and giving it to Jonathan Taylor. So, I mean, sh- sharp football has... Colts has the third easiest schedule uh, in the league this year. I just think they're going to be throwing more. Pittman's like the clear number one guy. Matt Ryan is underrated. I think Pittman could be a first round wide receiver next year in the fan- in fantasy drafts. I had him in my keeper draft and he was pretty good the last half of the season, even on the team he was on. But it just felt, even I test watching the Colts games, it just felt like he was open a lot. Yeah. To your Wentz poise. He's and they probably use excited them. to have a, an actual decent quarterback. And they use him a ton. Like I said, there's nobody else in the team. They treat him like he's like DeAndre Hopkins or Julio Jones with the amount of uh, targets he's getting. And I, no one's valuing the Matt Ryan thing enough just because no one cares about Matt Ryan anymore. Yeah. And no, by the way, nobody's better down 20 with eight minutes left than Matt Ryan. I mean, <laughs> talking about Michael Pittman stats, but that's where Matt Ryan thrives. Who do you have, Danny Kelly? I'm going with Kyle Pitts, tight end for the Falcons, who, I mean, legitimately just might be the most exciting, fun player in the NFL, period. Like, he's just awesome. He's He can line up all over the formation. He's basically a receiver at 246 pounds. Uh, he can beat corners down the field. He can line up in the middle and, and just annihilate linebackers. I just think he's really incredibly good. Had an all-time rookie season for a tight end, and nobody really paid attention because, number one, he's on the Falcons. And number two, he had one touchdown, which I think is going to change pretty dramatically this year. Like, Positive regression is coming for Pitts in the touchdown department. I think he's going to go ballistic this year. Love Pitts. And number three, he's not a tight end. Right. He's a wide receiver. He's, he's, Why do we call him a tight end? He he's doesn't play tight end. He would be very good just being, if you just changed his designation to wide receiver, like people would think he's one of the best receivers in the NFL. Everybody on the Falcons is just a wide receiver. Kyle Pitts, yeah. Cordero Patterson, yeah. every position, they just put wide receivers London. there. <laughs> what I love too is the whole thing with like an athletic tight end. It's like, oh, well, if you put a cornerback on them, he's bigger, and if it's a linebacker on him, he's faster. It's like, actually, he's just faster than the cornerbacks, too. <laughs> right. <laughs> Seriously. Well, also, nobody's covering over the linebacker. If he's on the field, yeah. teams are go, they'll go, cool, we'll play nickel because you're not going to run the ball to Kyle Pitts' side because he's not a tight end. My one true love will not surprise you. I've loved this guy for a couple years now. We have a really good thing going. Um, it's a little like Craig and Liz, actually. Same kind of thing. Like, it's just... <laughs> Just immediately the magic was there and it's just, we're in a relationship now. Nick Chubb, my guy. Oh, uh, oh wow. I've I've just, year after year I've had him. I keep waiting for the Nick Chubb 2,000 yard rushing season. Just stay healthy and just keep cranking out 100 yards a game. 
maybe that 190 yarder. But I like that Baker's not on the team anymore. This team now knows who it is. It's not Jacoby Brissett's team for 11 weeks. It's going to be Nick Chubb's team. And I'm ready. I, I just think that guy, I have him, I think him and Taylor are the two best running backs in the league. Just if I had to just pick from talent standpoint, if I just wanted to get five to seven yards on a carry and you gave me the same offensive line for every guy, I just think Chubb's going to do the most with whatever. And I'm Bill, all are you in your main two leagues you care about? Are you do you have PPR or no? We'd have a half PPR in one of them. But yeah, he's so he's not really a PPR guy, but <laughs> no, he, what he is out. is a touchdowns guy. And I th- how is that team going to I, I mean, you guys saw Jacoby Brissett play quarterback last year, correct? Yeah. He oh, yeah. could not complete 15 yard passes. So I just think I think Stefanski is going to be ball control, Nick Chubb, Nick Chubb, very similar to the Colts offense last year. 